and welcome to the Lil's channel. If you haven't been here before, I'm Lily and this is Lisa and this is my new show, What's in Store? If you hear any noise, it's either the leaf blower outside or my dog that won't stop whining. So this show, um, I... At the beginning of quarantine, Lisa and I, um, we were a little bored. So often our main solution was to go to Target or the grocery store and just walk down every aisle until that was our exercise and that was the only place open yes but while doing that we did find that the grocery store has quite a bit of things that yeah. like unless you're going down every aisle you would never know that they actually like, have we them. paid a little bit more attention and walked down like every aisle and we were like this stuff exists basically this show is going to be dedicated to all those things that we find at the grocery store sometimes they will be good things that sound really good but other times you know when you see something and you're just like kind of want to try that but you're not that passionate about it so you don't get it or it's just like something that doesn't make sense sense and you're like should that work? That's what this show is for. Every episode, we, or just I, if I can't find a friend that will eat with me for that day, are going to eat something sweet, something salty, and then the third one, it's I- an open category. Yeah, I said something you can make because I was thinking just something you would like heat up or- Or maybe make. Yeah, I guess I kind of had Because maybe it's today's. something you find one of those weird recipes. It's like the Chick-fil-A pizza or something. Oh, true. Like, I'm leaning more could... towards like- That's a little more intense. Microwavable but... things. Okay. But- The options there. The third one's kind of a wild card. We'll see how long that theme lasts. I feel like I have more of a sweet tooth than anything else. You usually so do, yeah, you're not very savory. Maybe that'll take over, but are you excited to see what's in store? I, I thought that, I liked the title. Anyway, we'll start with our something sweet. Uh, Lisa and I are big fans of the Marie Callender's frozen pies, and they have Oops. Marie Callender's. That's true. This one we had never seen before. The confetti birthday cake cream pie. No bake. It says thaw and enjoy, and usually I always forget to thaw it, and I just try to eat it frozen because I'm impatient. Like break a tooth well, on it. It's not that hard. I also I'm like what? Like it's not cheesecake. Well, what it's is? Like a whip. It's like a cream, milk, and and whatever. I'm curious. I feel like but birthday stuff is a little overrated. It kind of looks like it has a little crumbles. It reminds me of like milk bar or whatever. <laughs> Hi, sir. Oh, this is the one he really liked. You want some pie? See, it has vanilla flavored cookie crumb crust made from scratch, and it has confetti cake pieces and rainbow chips. I mean, I would hope it would be but from scratch if it's coming from a pie maker. You never know. But <laughs> they use like pills. That look like the milk bar. Cake it does cookies? kind of. Yes. Okay. okay. So, um, how are we gonna do this? I guess I should have gotten us plates for this. Okay, hey, so it good. looks kind of like a cheesecake. I'll get, a, just, I'll get a just, little plate for us. Oh, I was just gonna go like this. Just kidding. There's nothing there. This is for me. That's for you. <laughs> Your piece and my piece. Might as well just eat the whole thing. Sir, you're being very needy. He's like, that's all. Oh god, it's all over my jeans. So it's difficult because it's like I want all this part. Yeah, you have to this you have to construct a good bite. So get a cookie oh, dough glob and then some whipped cream. And you gotta get a little crust. Okay, I think I got one. Cheers. Cheers. It's pretty cool. One big glob of frosting? Not in a bad way. I, say, I don't even know what it tastes like, but it's great. You would think it would be too sweet, Ooh, that but it's good. It's not. This, oh my god. The whipped cream is really good. Yeah, see, cake stuff, a lot of times it's too sweet when they do the birthday cake funfetti stuff. This actually isn't too bad. It tastes familiar. I'm trying to put my finger on it. It's like vanilla cream. I would say this is like sugar cookie flavored. It does taste a little like sugar cookie. It doesn't have birthday vibes, which I'm okay with. To I be think honest. the birthday vibes are just how it's decorated. And then you have these cake pieces and I think that's supposed to give you. This is but really, really actually really good. Highly recommend. It's like a puppuccino. I don't want to stop eating it, but give I have to. It's a 9 out of 10. I almost want to give it a 10. Like, it's really good. The first episode, you didn't give it a 10 true. yet. We'll start with a 9.9, but no 10s yet. What does that taste like? I'm, it's it, like I've had it before. It does taste a little like sugar cookie. I think that it's the crust. Feels familiar. It's made from scrap. Oh, like, this isn't part of the show, but it's just the signature Sponsor beverage. Us. That gulp <laughs> was so loud. Okay, it's a big gulp. let's move on to our something salty, which I will preface. I when I say salty, I kind of just mean not sweet. I feel so like savory, I, yeah. savory, sweet, and make. Savory. But also, this is kind of garlic. <laughs> garlic is kind of salty. When I think like munchies, I think sweet and salty. That was why I went with that. But yeah, I guess savory is probably more appropriate. This might be they salty. They fall in the same category. Because when you think about a popcorn salty, but that's not really savory. I rarely describe things as salty unless it's like 
a french fry. I think that's my problem. But anyway, moving on to salty, which honestly, either of these could it's also that you did yeah, make I did have to make well, both so. of them. So these could really be interchangeable. But we'll go with this one. Yes. This was actually more involved than I thought it would be to make. Pillsbury pull apart garlic bread. They also have- They have monkey bread, right? Yes, which honestly I would have preferred to get that, but they didn't have it. I rarely am craving garlic bread, so this wouldn't be something I would buy, which is a perfect example you for this show. I rarely crave garlic bread. I like it, but I'm not like, I rarely am like, you know what I could really go for? I love garlic. And especially if I had to like make it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else seems to be craving garlic bread. It does look good and sound good, so. What did you have to do? You know when you like unroll the Pillsbury like crescent rolls? You the, peel them apart. Yeah, near the triangles. These were like little squares. And then it comes with like a garlic like saw. It comes with like a garlic sauce. And you put that in the pan, melt some butter, and then you mix it all together. And then you put some cheese in. Do they give you the cheese? No, you have to provide the cheese and the butter. It's like when something doesn't include batteries. Like what? <laughs> that is bullshit. That. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, so it was more of a process than I anticipated, but it was easy and still. You did a good job. Yeah, and then it comes out a round pan. I don't really know why. I have kitchen stuff. Why does, uh, like just because I don't, I don't even think we have a round pan. I don't, no. Good job, Lily. And then, and then you Chef take it Lily. out. Oh, interesting. Mm. This would be good if you were having like a little get together. Nice little appy. Except in the age of COVID, you don't want everybody touching everybody's food. That's true. I guess I was expecting it to be a little saucier. I'm a little sad. It took me a while to set up the cameras, so it's not as hot as it was. I'm one of those weird people who likes it like drenched in butter and garlic where it's like dripping. I mean, it's I'm, seeped in, it's good, but you know. I'm sure you could put more butter in there. Dip the it in more butter. It's actually really good. I would probably good that. We're on a roll. Or Is garlic one. okay for dogs? Uh uh. No. Sorry, buddy. If you dipped it in like marinara, marinara, highly recommend. It was 8.5. I like the cake better. I'll give it an eight. We're doing good. This is a great you know, lunch. We're setting very high standards for the rest of your episodes. I know. Shall we finish it off Let's with it. what I made? <laughs> you know what? There's an art to putting things in toaster ovens and microwaves. Taco bites. Taco rolls. It's from what, Mich Michelinas? They're TV dinners I used to Ooh. eat when I did not have a lot of money, and they were like a dollar. Actually, they might have been like 75 cents for their chicken. This Alfredo. was only 99 cents, I think. Okay, then 99 cents. Um, Very cheap. So, don't have a lot of money, you're in college or whatever. Southwestern style meat and cheese filling in a golden crust. What does that even mean? Just looks like, spice? It looks like meats and cheeses. Wait, wait. It says there's supposed to be cheese in here? Should we cross section one? Like, is that okay, okay with you? Like? You sounded concerned. I Definitely. see no evidence of cheese. <laughs> the cross section is not as pretty as it is on the box, yep. but um, Never is. Let's see. All right. Ah! You really want some. Definitely very fragrant. It has a taco smell when she was making it. <laughs> I like, took a few bites and it's like a delayed taco taste. It doesn't taste like taco. It tastes like the seasoning, the Ortega seasoning from the- A little too much. The mix. They're not cheese. I don't get any cheese. It's all right. I mean, if I had nothing better to eat, I could definitely pop that whole thing in my mouth. If I was starving, I would eat them, but I'm not. Give <laughs> it five. But you know, I could eat the whole thing because mm. I'm sitting here. Well, I'm gonna end it on a higher note. I'm gonna go back to the pie. I'll rate those at five. I prefer pizza rolls. They taste familiar too. You would think that the familiarity would be tacos, but it's something else. Are we all done? We wrap things up? Whose favorite was the whipped cream? I'm really impressed by that pie. I know what you're doing, right? Today, like, oh, <laughs> I'm like editing, just like one hand on the mouse, one hand in the pie. I think that wraps up episode one of What's in Store. Today we got pie, bread, and taco bites. It was a great spread. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. I would love to hear your suggestions also of what we should try in the yeah. comments below, but uh, keep in mind that like, that I feel like from state to state or like- Regional Yeah, the, it's different. Um, flashback to when we tried to find the Dunkaroo cookie dough you know, and never sometimes could. sometimes we can find stuff or something close, so you never know. Or you guys could like, if there's someone like in another country, maybe you send us something. Mm. Like I think you like that. Um, please subscribe for more episodes. I would say this will be every week, but I don't really want to commit to that. So It'll be when she feels like it. Hopefully every week. Also, let me know who else you want to see on the show. Perhaps some uh, old cheat day guests have some redemption episodes. Why do you need redemption? Because they were awful. I didn't watch that show. The show wasn't awful. Oh. The experience was awful. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Cheers.